Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my collection of the handmade wigs. Most of them are going to be brushed yarn wigs or just yarn. Some of them are going to be other synthetic fibers. I don't think I've got any human hair wigs, but I believe there are some animal fibers. I've got a box full. If you would like to see some of my creations, um, please continue to watch it. For those of you who follow my channel, they I wear how this wig was made, because this was one of the wigs that um, was demonstrated, the technique I use for it. It's a um, yarn wig from the chunky yarn the problem with the yarn which i will probably show later when when uh, it's a brushed yarn wig you can only can have certain length because the fibers tend to break when you brush them so this is a brushed yarn wig and this was made specifically for that gentleman Um, I don't have problems anymore with parting. I think it's the most problematic area when you make a wig if you want to see the parting. As I mentioned, it only can be certain length. And I will show you in a bigger doll. So this is a tall MSD. This made from the yarn. Uh, two different colors, of course. It's a bit on the tight side the cap oh by the way all the caps are hard caps none of them are soft caps in my rigs another brushed yarn wig and that's quite lovely shades of violet and purple and that's yarn was like that so i didn't put them together the colors they were like that and this is suitable for This is a perfect fit for a smart doll. This is one of the styled wigs, as you can tell. It's had a trim. Another pretty wig is uh, another brushed yarn. And again, it hasn't been styled properly, just left like that. It's been left as it is. I think it does require a bit of a tidying and I made, um, I'll show you later, this was specifically made for Smart Doll this week, not for this one, for another girl, but she'll demonstrate another week later. So that's how it looks. I think this week suits this um, Girls much better than the Kisuna in other smart doll. This is another yarn wig. It's not brushed. And again, this made is the same technique and the first wig I demonstrated in this video. Hard cap, of course. And it is quite rich wig this wig actually was made specifically for smart doll again not this one but they all have the same size head cap i i quite like it um it's have the like a dreads like appearance to it talking of dreads again this is my one of the latest videos of wig making, or not even wigs, but dreads. How to make dreads, and that wig was made for this gentleman. This is a wig from the same <laughs> opera, which was made during the tutorial 
on my channel. Chunky yarn, it's non brushed, but a good special technique to it. Well, not technique, but easier way of making wigs. Unfortunately, this wig requires a silicone cap for this doll because it was made for another one. This is Soul Doll Yun B, and it was made for another Soul Doll, and she had a slightly different shape of head, which and the wig stayed on her quite well. We returned to same. Well, it looks like same wig, but in fact it's different wig, similar to what you've seen in the beginning, but principle is the same. This wig was actually made for this particular doll. Stay a wig. This wig was made for a smaller MSD head. I will insert the picture of it. This is another yarn, brushed yarn wig and it's been styled and it can be styled further. This wig uh, I believe is not yarn and it was in fact made of from one of the animal fibers a long time ago and this was made specifically for one of the dolls which I'm currently put for sale. Male doll for the elf, that's why he got huh, things for ears in here. This is not very neat wig and at the time I had problems with parting and this is an animal fiber wig. Um, I don't remember which one exactly. It's super soft, really soft and so pleasant. Looks great on the doll, but unfortunately it's not as tidy as I would like to. And it's for bigger MSD heads, so dolls tend to be on the smaller side. This wig was my attempt to make something very different from the fibers so rough and <laughs> not forgiving and it's turned up okay. This was made for resin soul, sleeping hand, Fay. And this is more of a headpiece, uh, which includes hair. This is, was my attempt, successful attempt, to cover the mess. The fibers are synthetic and it's like ombre. I made this clay headpiece. It's, it doesn't have any meaning, it's just a random collection of sea themes and something else uh, was just trying to use the leftovers of clay which is very light it was japanese uh, dry clay so i made the cap or well, the headpiece together with the hair this one of the recent wigs was quickly made brushed yarn for male Similar with this wig, what I um, mentioned in the very beginning, this is the wig, and the technique used is demonstrated in the video. You need to find about the wigs, no, um, it's called using non brush technique. If you're interested, of course, to, to know how I did it. You probably think, what is going on? Another wig? Well, actually, it is different wig, but similar style. Got beads in here. 
And this was made for a dim doll Lorena. So this was a wig uh, which was made with a lot of bought braids. I believe I bought two packs of really small braids, quite long ones, and I cut them in half and literally glued them to the cap. You can see the glue residue here. That was my very first attempt to use such a fibers, but um, I think minus this parting, the it will it was made for this gentleman. Well, mostly for him. His SD size, do family age body and. He is um, usually wear a silicon cap in order for this wig to stay properly. And his artist made head Adam. This is similar wig which I made for Smart Doll. But this was the original one which I made specifically for this. My dollitz Misa. Rainbow wig. I still got a lot of fibers left. I don't know whether to make more or not. Because this color scheme only will suit something more of a kawaii style. Some of you who follow me on Instagram already seen that wig, uh, which actually was made for um, this little lady, for Smart Doll Resilient. And this is another Smart Doll. And I think this wig looks bit better on her. It's of a good contrast with the skin color. So it's a proper pig style, the proper party in the back. And I use leftover fibers because I had quite a lot of black left and there was a white. So the white joins in the uh, put the first few layers and then random streaks in there. Same with this wig, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably seen it already. This is my latest one, and that was the most tricky wig I ever done, because it was Kanekalon. And Kanekalon is slippery. Um, it's difficult to keep in place, but at the same time it's quite forgiving. And it's allowed me to do the proper parting because what I did, the trick to these ones, if you're interested, ask me this question, try to explain. There is a trick to blend the braids in. And that's it. I thought I had more wigs than that, but clearly that's what I can find. Thank you guys for watching and I do hope you have a lovely day or evening or night and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.